Welcome to the channel and happy Friday or at least I hope it's almost Friday. Today I'll be doing a what's in my work bag sharing my 9 to 5 office essentials from my must have makeup to my tech accessories and how I organize my bag for a busy week ahead. So if you're curious and love watching these videos as much as I do then stay tuned. As much as I love designer handbags, sometimes I don't think they're very practical for work so I tend to opt for more everyday handbags and my current favourite is this Coach tote bag. I picked this up last year but I know Coach releases these totes every year in different colours. It has the signature Coach print with the pebble grained leather which I really like because it makes it very durable. Also I really like that it has the top handles but as well as the strap which you can wear over the shoulder or as a crossbody but I think it's slightly too big as a crossbody so I'll generally use the top handle but it's a great option especially when I need to have my hands free. I'm quite short so I make sure I have it on the shortest loop. It also has a very wide compartment with a zip pocket as well as two side pockets and a buckle closure. It also has the protective feet at the bottom which is a nice feature when you're putting the bag on the table and makes it very durable so I don't have to worry about getting scratches. I think this is a great everyday medium size work bag. Perfect for days where I don't need to bring my laptop or I'm just running from meeting to meeting. First, first thing in my bag is my makeup case. I have been trying to find a nice makeup bag for the longest time and this is actually a gift set from Sol de Janeiro. I think it's actually one of their travel case sets and it's just the perfect size. I actually love the gift set so much I brought two. This is actually the original gift set. It comes with a body wash, a hand cream as well as a little body mist. I actually think this would be a lovely Christmas gift for a friend or to yourself. <laughs> If I need to leave the house quickly, I just grab my little makeup pouch. It has everything I need for the day and I just transfer this between different work bags that I'm using. I've added a little key charm here just to personalize it a bit and it matches the whole pink theme. And what I love most is that it opens all the way up so you can fit quite a bit in here and it's perfect for travel as well. I cannot leave the house without lipstick and I'm quite particular about my lipsticks. I'm always on the hunt for something that's quite moisturizing but also has a really good color payoff and you'd be surprised actually how hard that is to find. But I've recently discovered these Sephora lipsticks. Let It Be is a beautiful mauve pink color and Girl Crush is a corally flamingo pink. I absolutely love these lipsticks. Highly recommend if you're looking for a lipstick that's quite moisturizing but also has a really good color payoff and quite affordable as well. And I always carry more than one lipstick just in case I feel like changing it up throughout the day. In addition to lipsticks, I always make sure I also have a lip gloss or a lip balm. My current favorite is the Summer Friday Lip Butter Balm in pink, but it pretty much comes off as a very sheer, almost nude lip balm. It's definitely a balm more than a gloss, but it provides that extra moisture that I need throughout the day. There is nothing worse than having dry lips. I just can't concentrate if my lips are dry. So I always make sure that I have a lip gloss or a lip balm that I can add on top of my lipstick. Still with makeup, I try not to touch my face throughout the day but I do get very oily towards the end of the day and I always make sure I have a compact powder with me. My current favourite is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filler Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Because I have combination skin, I always look for a powder foundation. Those translucent powders do nothing for me. I don't mind this Fenty one, it's quite nice. It has a decent sized mirror and also the coverage is not too heavy even though it is a powder foundation and I am in number 220. I do love Fenty's color range. You can definitely find a color to match your skin tone. And I always look for powders that have a sponge so I don't need to bring makeup brushes with me. Also for touch up, I have my Tarte concealer, my holy grail favorite under eye concealer. 
it is so good this thing hides late nights blemishes and just helps me feel brighter so i always make sure i have the tiny travel size with me so from the sol de janeiro kit i have the body cream which i use as my hand cream as well as the body mist as my perfume i've spoken about these products so much on my channel they smell so delicious it's fruity and florally and what I love most about the cream is that it's so moisturizing. It is such a good hand cream. And these travel sizes make them perfect for popping into my work bag. I still make sure that I carry hand sanitizer. I catch the train into work and as soon as I get off the train, I feel like I've touched something. So I always need to have this in my handbag. You can get these from Amazon and they're refillable. It's just so tiny and compact as well. I can easily pop it in my purse. Also in my handbag is this super tiny Charlotte Tilbury face oil. I like to have some sort of oil with me that I can use as cuticle oil or if I need that added bit of moisture if my hands are feeling extra dry. I am a collector of tiny sample sized things. So that is all for my makeup products. So I have my AirPods, these are the third generation. I also have the AirPod Max Pro, but those just aren't practical for commuting or the office. And how cute are they? I've personalized them with a case as well as some pearl charms. I've decorated them, so hopefully I won't lose them. I think these are my third or fourth pair now. So also in my bag is my iPhone. I currently am using the iPhone 13 Max Pro. I refuse to upgrade my phone unless I really, really have to. I feel like Apple releases so many phones these days, I can't keep up with them anymore. I was tempted because I know they just released the iPhone 15, is that what we're up to now, 15, in the pink, but I'm holding out because unless I really, really have to, I don't wanna upgrade my phone, even though the memory storage in this is running out. I have my Apple MagSafe charger. This is okay as a phone charger. It probably only gives my phone about half a charge. There are definitely better battery banks out there, but I just like this one because I can easily clip it to the back of my phone without using cables and wires to charge it. And I can also use this for my AirPods as well. So it makes it very fuss free to have this. And because I can't rely on my battery charger, I will also make sure I have a spare charger with me at all times. I always feel in a panic when my phone or my AirPods are down to 10%. For days that I don't need my laptop, I will have my iPad with me, which I can take my Zoom calls, answer my emails. Also in my bag, I always have a water bottle. I've had so many instances where I've been in meetings and I'm talking and I just can't find water. So I always make sure I have one on hand and refill my water bottles. I try and find small water bottles that fit in my handbag. Otherwise, if they're too big, I find that I'm reluctant to take it with me. So this is a great size one. I am still loving my Louis Vuitton coin purse as well as the key pouch. This is great for keeping my keys, but also without scratching the contents of what's inside. I'm still loving the coin purse. It is so durable and such a great everyday coin purse. Very matchy matchy. For organizing my bag as much as possible, I will try and keep everything in their pouches. First, I'll put in my makeup pouch. And then I have a separate pouch for all my electronics. And then I'll squeeze it in my laptop usually at the end. For my purse, I'll usually put my purse and keys in the zipper pocket because I definitely don't want to lose that. And when I'm rummaging for my things at the end of the day, I will know where to find them. And then I'll usually just have my phone inside. And then my drink bottle will fit in there. I always make sure I have a pen on hand as well. Moochie pet, moochie. <laughs> moochie pens are my favorite. Uh, I just think that for like a dollar, the quality is so good. They just never fail. So that's what fits in my handbag. I try and keep my handbag as clean as possible and do a tidy out at least once a week. 
I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my work bag. If you love bag reviews and bag features, check out my latest video where I summarize my most used and least used bags for this year, including some other great everyday bag options. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day ahead and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.